Something you sometimes do when you're doing a double integral um, or a triple integral is you change the order of integration. Um, and what I'm going to do here is show you uh, how I go about doing that. Uh, so sometimes you'll have an integral and uh, initially you're going from left to right. And so that would be a dx type of thing because dx goes from left to right. And then you go from the bottom to the top um, and that would be dy. So our integral will end up looking like this and then we'll have the dy on the inside and dx on the outside. Or sometimes you have an integral that goes from the bottom to the top. So now we know dy is going to be on the outside and then left to right and then f of xy. So we'll have dx on the inside and then dy on the outside. Um, so let's take a look and see if we can figure out how to do this. So if we have this integral that goes from 0 to 1 and then 0 to 2x of f of xy dy dx, um, we can actually pull two inequalities off of that. So it's from x is between 0 and 1, and you can tell because it's the outer integral and outer bounds. Um, and then y is going to be from 0 to 2x. So what I'm going to do is sketch the region in the xy plane. Um, so that's the x and y axes. And then I've drawn the line y equals 2x. And I'll add the line x equals uh, 1. And so x is going between 0 and 1. And y goes from y equals 0 to y equals 2x. And the way that we were doing this, the first thing we do is we go from bottom to top. So the first thing is we integrate in that direction. And then we go from left to right. So what we do when we reverse it is the first thing we need to do is go from left to right. And then the second thing will be from bottom to top. So um, we need to go from left to right. So let's figure out those equations. Well, the line initially was y equals 2x. So now it's going to be x equals y over 2. So we go from x equals y over 2. That's the left curve to the right curve, which is just x equals four, uh, 1, rather. I keep saying 4. Um, and now we need to go from bottom to top. So uh, the outer bounds of your double integral should always be constants. So y goes from a minimum of, oh, well, let me write the inequality. Um, y goes from a minimum of 0 to a maximum of 2. So we get that inequality. And then we can rewrite our integral. So the first bounds I'll write here, the outer bounds, are from 0 to 2. And that's our dy. And then it'll be from y over 2 to 1, and that'll be our dx. So our function, and then dx, dy. All right, let's take a look at one more example. Um, so say we have the integral from 0 to 2, the integral from uh, 2y to 4 of f of xy, dx, dy. So I'm going to try to pull off my inequalities. So x is between 2y and 4, so that's from left to right. And then y is between 0 and 2. So... I know that I'm going left to right first because of uh, the variable in the bound. So let's try to draw this in two dimensions. So y goes from 0 to 2, and then x goes from 2y to 4. So if we have 2y equals x, that means uh, y equals x over 2. So I'm actually just going to draw the line y equals x over 2, um, which goes there, and then close off the region. Um, since x is going from 2y to 4, so that's from left to right. So initially we're going from x equals 2y to x equals 4, so left to right. And then uh, we have to go from bottom to top, so from y equals 0 to y equals 2. Um, so what I'm going to do now is the first thing I want to do is I want to go from bottom to top, and then I want to go from left to right. So bottom to top, that's going to be from well, that line now is y equals x over 2. So I'm going from y equals 0 to y equals x over 2. That's bottom to top. So inequality for that. And now I have to go from left to right. Well, x goes from a minimum value of 0 to a maximum value of 4. So that interval becomes 0 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4. And now I can reverse the order. And so I get the integral from 0 to 4 the integral from 0 to x over 2 of the function, and then it's going to be dy and dx. Okay, so it all goes back to the notion of x is going from left to right and y is going from bottom to top, and if we want to reverse the order, we just, you know, literally reverse which one you do first. And uh, I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.